are you buying a house long distance? Well, that's the subject we're talking about today, and we're jumping on that right after this. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. Now, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week about Long Beach, about the surrounding cities, about the things that you want to know about, where to work, live, eat, and play. Today we're talking about buying a home long distance, so I'm going to give you five tips on how to do that. But stay tuned for the end of it, because at the end, I will be putting in a bonus tip. So you want to stick around for that. So here are five tips for you for buying a house long distance. Number one, do your research. Now, you're moving to an area that you've never been to before and there's a lot of different areas to investigate and areas that are right for your family and right for your budget. Now here in Long Beach we have coastal communities. We have Orange County just a stone's throw away from here. Or do you want to be in the neighborhoods with the best school district and the family friendly neighborhoods? By the way I did do a video on the most family friendly neighborhoods in Long Beach and you can check that out right up here. Or maybe you just want a little more land for your family, so you want a bigger backyard, so you want to move inland from the coastal area. So you want to go towards Lakewood or Long Beach, uh, Bellflower, and get a little bit bigger lot for your kids to play in. Or maybe you're just that hard-working young professional, and you want to party and live in that downtown area. Well, that's fine. We have downtown LA and downtown Long Beach. Great places to work, live, and play hard. Now, each one of these areas has its unique set of pros and its unique set of cons. So that is up to you to decide based upon your family's needs, such as, do you want a shorter commute to work so that you can spend more time at home with the family? Or do you just want that best school district, period? So start your research and narrow it down because when you come down here house hunting, you're only gonna be here for a few days. Now, you don't want to be looking at houses that are 40, 30, 50 miles apart simply because you didn't know. So, we want to narrow it down so that when you are here, we can use your time in the most efficient manner that we can for you to view as many homes as possible to make that decision. Find a realtor who works with out-of-town buyers in the area that you're looking for. Now you should always look for a realtor that works with out-of-town buyers. Now I work with a lot, a ton of out-of-town buyers with this YouTube channel and what I do is I go to the properties that they're looking at and I videotape them for them so they can get a feel for it before they get here. I go around the neighborhoods, show the traffic situation, what parking's like, if they're going to be down by the beach, I'll show you their closest beach where they will be hanging out. Uh, if just what is around their neighborhood so they can get a better feel of that neighborhood that they're looking into. So when they get down here, it's just not a big culture shock. They see everything. They know it. They expect it. And this way it helps narrow it down because you can look at a home on the videotape and say, oh no, I just do not want that one. Or yeah, I would really, really love to go see that one in person. So we can arrange that for when you come down here. So number three, narrow it down. Now let's just say for shits and giggles, you narrowed it down to three different areas that you really like. So now you've been looking on my website and you found a bunch of homes that meet your criteria in these different areas. But you're only going to be coming to town for a few days. So looking at 30 or 40 homes is going to be nearly impossible and not to mention stressful. It's going to be stressful on me and it's going to be really, really stressful on you because all those houses were, will start to blend together. I'm going to give you a clipboard a check sheet so you can make you know addresses you're going to take pictures you can do all that stuff 
but things still bleed together. Was it this kitchen to this house that we liked? Or was it that bedroom that we really, really loved the master bedroom in with this house? It just starts to blend together. Trust me on that. So we really, really want to narrow it down. And hopefully with the help of my video, that's what does, that helps you narrow down your prospects so when you do get here. Now, before we go on any further, this video today is sponsored by, if you're liking this video so far, give me a like down below. Number four, know your market. Now this you have to depend on your realtor. Just because where you're living, it could be a buyer's market, but the area you're buying into, it could be a seller's market. Now this will help you tremendously while drafting up your offer for the house that you do fall in love with, increasing your chances of being accepted. Number five, now this is pretty key too. Do your inspections anyway. Okay, when you come and you look at homes, you're gonna fly back home, be prepared for your move and get ready, do all that kind of stuff. Have the home inspections done anyways. Your realtor will attend those for you and let you know everything. You will get a full copy of that report. That home inspection is there to protect you, the buyer. It's gonna tell you about the house, what is wrong with it, if there's anything majorly wrong with it. And if there is, you back out of the deal at that point. Okay, so the home inspection is very, very crucial and you have to keep it and your realtor should and will be there for you. Now, I promised at the beginning, here's the free bonus tip. When it comes down to closing, what are you gonna do? Do you want to stay there where you live and have everything FedEx to, FedEx to you? When you have to go to your attorney's office or the escrow office, sign everything, they FedEx everything back, we look at everything, get it processed and realize you forgot a signature. So we have to send everything back. You've got to make the other point and on top of that, there's going to be more fees, of course. So you got to go back to the attorney's office Sign up that again, send it back here. Now everybody is just upset. The new, the home seller is upset because you're delaying his closing on his new property. Uh, everybody in escrow is upset. It's just a hassle. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend that you fly down for it. Because by the time you go to the attorney's office, you pay the fees, you do all that stuff, probably could have just gotten a cheap plane ticket, flown out here, signed and flown right back home, and it's done taken care of. Again, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and the surrounding city. So if you or anybody you should know may need of any real estate assistance, please reach out to me. All my information is down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, Leave a comment if you agree or disagree. And until next time, take care. So long, folks. <laughs>